All right, today we're going to try Essential Depot's Fragrant Oil, Jasmine, one of my favorites, in some soap. This is what it looks like on their website. All right, let's try this fragrant oil in some soap and see how it goes. Today we're going to be testing Essential Depot's Jasmine fragrant oil. I can't wait. It's so awesome. Um, we're going to be using, I've got in this little container, one half ounce of uh, organic coconut oil, one ounce of extra virgin first press cold press olive oil, uh, one ounce of Essential Depot's Awesome Unrefined Organic Shea Butter, one tablespoon of Essential Depot's Vegetable Glycerin, one half teaspoon of Vitamin E, and then I have used one tablespoon of ground of ground kelp powder that I purchased from the local health food store. And we're just going to test that out too today and see what color it turns. All right, let's get soaping. After we add our colorant, we're going to take a small whisk, or you can use something that suits you, but I use a small whisk, and I mix the colors up. so that the spice will soften in the oils. And then I'm going to sit this right next to my crock pot with the glass touching the pot, and that's going to warm that up and get that uh, more softened during the cooking process of the soap. Okay, and this one is our jasmine. Jasmine essential, jasmine fragrant oil is one of my favorites. Uh, and I think that you would just love it. It has a Far Eastern flair that is just beyond compare anything else. Um, but yet it has a floral, but yet it is just different. It's just different and it's exotic and nine out of ten ladies in my opinion just love it. Um, when they smell it, they love it. Um, and predominantly it's a uh, it's a good seller. Um, you cannot go wrong with jasmine. Have jasmine on your table and you're doing wonderful, you'll do wonderful business. Okay, so now we'll let those super fats cook for 30 minutes and then we'll be letting it cool and adding our jasmine. Okay, and this is our jasmine fragrance. And the last time I used this, but not from this company, it didn't take a lot, so We'll have to see if this one is the same. So we'll do two to start. Oh gosh, that smells good. You've got to try some of this jasmine. It is just to die for. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. I'm going to put one more in. That smells heavenly. All right. I always keep towels on top of the table so I can just dust them out outside whoop, 
and put them straight in the laundry ring. I'm going to push that down in there. The part that's on the spoon has gotten a little cooler. And so I'll just push it down in there so I can still make a, a nice, pretty design on the top of the mold. And I'm going to stick with my S pattern for this one. I think I'm going to do it a little closer. Whoop. There we go. Oh, and I had the camera off just a little bit. There you go. Oh, that smells heavenly. All right. Now let's go on to the... Oh, tomorrow we'll cut it. And we will... Um, um, uh, talk more about this jasmine uh, fragrant oil. Hello everyone. Today we're cutting the soap that we made yesterday testing the, the uh, fragrant oil jasmine uh, from Essential Depot and I had no issues with ricing or freezing. Matter of fact, I thought it was a little bit easier to work with in the molding process um, than essential oils that I normally use. Um, I have severe issues with allergies and I've had no issues. It's so pleasant to be able to pick that up and put it right to my nose and not worry about my nose um, swelling up or my skin breaking out. It's been very pleasant to work with. All of Essential Depot's fragrant oils are alcohol free and that may be the difference. Um, and so let's cut us a bar. I really love the color that we chose but um, you might want to choose something different but I can recommend one mix that is very very pleasant and that is to not put any color in it but to add a cup well for this size loaf that we did a half a cup of ground oats and uh, th two to three tablespoons of honey the color of the honey and the oats and the smell of the jasmine and the honey adds to the smell and it is just awesome and I would consider this almost strong um, so I'm quite comfortable with it but I wouldn't mind if it had a little bit more in there but now I love strong strong soap I like it's like when I pick up a candle I like to go ooh that's good and uh, Jasmine is so awesome. It is a exotic uh, smell, a floral smell that just nothing else compares to. Um, and Jasmine essential oil is so expensive. It is such an awesome thing to have this as a opportunity to still have some Jasmine in our lives. Um, and so I highly recommend the Jasmine and I really love it strong and this I would say the amount that we put in in this video would just be almost considered strong and I would probably put another tablespoon in <laughs> but I love it strong and uh, the soap has not gave me any issues in the cutting process um, it is making a beautiful bar and I really think it, uh, and when you use jasmine, it doesn't need anything else mixed in with it. Jasmine is a standalone, and it is just awesome all by itself. You have to try some jasmine. If you've never had jasmine in your life, you need a little jasmine. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, now, um, the um, you'll find my website uh, link at the front and the end of the video. And if you hit the like button, you can share this video on Facebook and Twitter. And I just, we would just love it if you did that. And then um, if you'd like to leave some comments in the bottom of the video, I'd just be happy to reply. You can also subscribe to my channel and see other videos uh, that I've done on soaping. And I so hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great day.